WFNN. Headline News Update. Hi everyone, Basil Chapman. This is the Tiger Financial News Network, 11 o'clock Tiger, Tiger Update. And we're looking at the Dow 131 and 34,197. It did go above the 1st of uh, May high of 34,257. That's a really good sign. So those are leg C. So theoretically in the Chapman Wave methodology, we should still go to higher highs in the next couple of days. We're looking at this regardless of what the Fed says and regardless of any pullback that might occur. Uh, we're looking at uh, the S&P, also up very nicely, up uh, 22 at 43.61. I've also got this alternative count. It's all suggesting the same thing. It's getting both, all the charts on a daily basis are getting somewhat over, overbought on the on-balance volume. That's only why I read that. And that says, yeah, be ready for some kind of a digestive phase. Maybe it starts next week. Maybe it starts sooner than that. QQ is up $1.63 at 362.12. That's the Investigo Trust Series for the NDX 100. Getting closer to the 371 high that was made up back in April of last year. That's amazing. The SMHs, in fact, the semiconductors, are within just the points of the all-time high. 159.42 was the high in November of 2021. Here we are at 153.21. Uh, yeah, this is really fantastic action when you think about it. Uh, and all, all the bad news that you hear all the time. This is, this is good. Uh, looking at the IWM, which is the Russell 2000 small caps, they're actually coming on strong right now. They're up 2 at point one at 187.87. 80, uh, the weekly and monthly charts are not that great, but the daily has really improved a lot. Gold pulled back a little bit. Gold is down four points. It's kind of stuck in this range, just as the dollar actually is weakening. And the dollar is working independently of gold. It just has a, 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 since it hit that 104 area, here it is at 103.28, it's just kind of meandering to the downside. Nothing serious yet, but you can see the rectangle in the weekly chart, that arch goes to a lowercase m. So it's just stuck in a range. Talk about a range. The TLT stuck in a range. TLT, look there, the weekly chart, a lowercase h goes to a lowercase m pattern. And the daily chart, it's down 90 cents at 101.33. That means yields are moving up, but so far they haven't broken to the upside. So that's important. Um, we, we're going to wrap it up for this particular update. Uh, stay tuned. Great programming coming up. And uh, stay with TF and, and Basil Chapman. Check out my opening call, Daily Newsletter. See you tomorrow.